Saying they have given up on local law enforcement, a St. Augustine family texts their complaints to Tallahassee and to the governor's office. The family of Michelle O'Connell continues to believe that she died in a homicide and did not commit suicide, as St. John's County investigators have concluded. She died from a bullet from the service revolver of her boyfriend, Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Banks. The Sheriff's Office contends that O'Connell took her own life, but her loved ones insist that's not true and that Banks was involved. Channel 4's Kent Justice joins us. Kent, the family has hired a high-profile lawyer. Now they want the governor involved? Well, yeah, and ironically, while the family went to Tallahassee, Governor Scott was in Jacksonville today. Even so, Michelle O'Connell's family vowed to change the status of her so far closed case. Her daughter misses her mom. And I would do anything to give her mom back. And her mom should be here taking care of her daughter. Led by the attorney who represented Trayvon Martin's family, this group showed their passion for reopening the case concerning Michelle O'Connell's death. Her boyfriend's gun was the instrument of her death. That boyfriend was Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Banks. Detectives say O'Connell shot herself. We are following evidence, not emotion. There are several pieces of evidence that lead us to believe that show that this was not a suicide. These women are looking at the forensic evidence. They are not being driven by emotion. This effort asks the governor to order a coroner's inquest. The group delivered their request to Rick Scott's receptionist and pledged to gather signatures on petitions demanding the medical examiner's involvement. We are asking Governor Rick Scott <clears throat> to please look at our petition that we have started. And we are asking them to follow the state in their findings and recommend that a medical examiner's board do a coroner's inquest into my sister's death. Obviously, we're grief stricken and emotional, but they say this is about the evidence. Michelle O'Connell's brother is not involved in this effort, we should point out. He believes his sister's death was suicide, and he's filed a lawsuit against the FDLE and its lead investigator, claiming that he was misled about the evidence in the case. St. John's County Sheriff David Shore has admitted that his agency made some mistakes during the investigation. 